Hey fellow travelers, this is Graham, and today we're taking a look back at the remains of the Vancouver Stanley Park Zoo. Let's go explore. The history of the Stanley Park Zoo dates back to when the park first opened in 1888. The park's first superintendent, Henry Avison, captured a baby black bear on the grounds of the park and chained it to a stump. Local residents started to donate animals to the park, and by 1905 they had a collection which included parakeets, a canary, and a seal that was donated by the mayor. The zoo continued to grow and at its peak contained over 50 animals including snakes, wolves, emu, bison, kangaroos, monkeys, and penguins. In 1962, the Hudson's Bay Company donated four polar bears to the park. Nootka, Jubilee II, Prince Rupert, and Princess Rupert. The large concrete polar bear grotto was constructed, and they soon became the main attraction in the park. Another polar bear named Tuck arrived the same year, but Tuck became famous in 1983 when he was credited for saving a kitten from his enclosure. That day a disturbed man managed to throw a kitten into the water pool within Tuck's enclosure. Tuck dove into the pool to retrieve the drowning kitten and carefully carried it in his mouth back to safety. He was careful not to harm it and then carefully licked it dry with his tongue. The enclosures in the zoo seemed rather unnatural by today's standards. One unusual exhibit contained a combination of monkeys and seals. In the pool of water below, there were three California sea lions and four seals. But up above, there were three different kinds of monkeys, including golden spider monkeys and two kinds of small Cebus monkeys from South America. Otters frolicked around a structure of fences and slides that was more suited to a playground than an animal habitat. and penguins swam in large concrete bowls. Over the years, public perception of the zoo began to change, and this was further helped along in the early 1990s when a young man named Jason Labarge, age 20, broke into the zoo and beat six of the flamingos to death with a broom handle. For this brutal and unnecessary attack, Jason was sentenced to eight months in prison, two years probation, and ordered to pay the city a fine of $9,000. But he wasn't done yet, walking away from a minimum security prison, only to be recaptured two weeks later in Banff. Then soon after, in 1994, Vancouver residents voted to phase out the remaining attractions in the Stanley Park Zoo. The remaining animals were donated to the Stanley Park Children's Farmyard, transferred to the Greater Vancouver Zoo in Aldergrove, or rehomed to hobby farms or other organizations. The one exception was Tuck, who was too fragile to move due to health concerns. He was allowed to live out his days at the park and passed away the following year at the age of 36. After Tuck's death, the zoo was officially closed in December 1997. Since then, just about all traces of the zoo have been removed. The only remaining enclosure is the concrete polar bear exhibit, which sits tucked away just south of the Vancouver Aquarium, where it's remained largely abandoned for the last 25 years. In the late 1990s, this structure was used for the Stanley Park Salmon Stream as part of a larger network of protected waterways throughout the park. Today the enclosures are empty and being taken back by nature with just the occasional spot of graffiti. Although occasionally they do come in handy for use as a filming location. Two major productions that have filmed at the Polar Bear exhibit include Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That's why I want to get your 
camera's ready. Normally these guys are quite shy. And this scene from the film Deadpool 2. Precious, aren't they? Whoa! Are you a superhero? What's your name? Captain Delicious Pants. Who's Captain Delicious Pants? It would have been hard to argue that the zoo was outdated and needed to be closed. But for those of us that grew up in the Vancouver area, this is a place of childhood memories and we look back on it fondly. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep exploring and until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.